You're wanting to be in love with life. You're wanting to be in love with the butterflies and with the woman. You're wanting to be in love with your work. You're wanting to be in love with your own mind. You're wanting to be in love with your probabilities and possibilities. You're wanting to be in love with the contrast that surrounds you. You're wanting to be in love with the potential. You want to be in love with the reality of what's happening right now. You want to be in love with this bouncing off place that is providing so much more for you. You want to be in love with your potential, yes, but you want to be in love with the actuality that is manifesting right here and now. You want to be in love with your emotional guidance system, which gives you the ability to consciously and deliberately move through these discs and know what to do. You want to be in love with every bad moment your woman has, because in those awarenesses, you automatically launch rockets of desire that serve your relationship better and better and better and better you want to be in love with the step one moments and you want to appreciate the source who is always in a powerful way doing the step two moments you want to appreciate your past and you you want to look forward to your future but mostly you want to savor your now you want to be savers do you ever put something in your mouth that just tastes really good and you, do you just swallow it as fast as you can or do you savor it do you try to make it last do you try to mentally describe it and understand what it is about it that you like so much why is this so pleasing to me as you take more of those savoring moments why is this so pleasing to me and you do your best to describe it then you just lay in these new pipes and hooking up to that new energy and opening new doors and becoming more alive and feeling the power of who you really are and rendezvousing with new constantly rendezvousing with new maybe not a new girl but a new awareness maybe not a new girl but a new depth of understanding maybe not a new girl but a new sensuous moment beyond anything that you've experienced before maybe not a new girl but new experiences new 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 your potential to savor is pretty much untapped by you so far you see and as you become professional predominant savers when you're on the high disk and distractors when you're on a less than high disk everything will work out really really well thank you we <laughs> Esther had the dashboard cards made and the first group of them were edited for space and they said things always work out for me and Esther could feel the slight offness of that because every time she's heard us say it she's heard us say things are always working out for me present tense they are always in this moment they are working out in this moment they are working out in this moment they are working out no matter what's happening and no matter what your perspective of what's happening is things are working out and as you practice that thought and come to own that your concerns will be replaced with feelings of adventure and your fears will be replaced with feelings of adventure and eagerness your confusion will be replaced with more moments of clarity and your scrutiny of your time space reality will be replaced with a feeling of appreciation of the bigness and the fullness and the possibility of it the vibrational acuity that you have embarked upon as a result of the hours that you've patiently listened to us rambling here today has put you on a bouncing off place that will bring evidence to you immediately and as you savor each and every particle of the evidence that is coming in response to your newfound vibrational frequency you see we've been here way more than 68 seconds and we've come around to it again and again way more than 68 seconds you've practiced the vibration of the high flying disc just by participating here in this day in ways that you've never practiced it before you are vibrationally altered 
and the universe will respond to you in those differences the request that we now make of you is that you consciously acknowledge the vibrational differences that you consciously acknowledge your realization of those differences and that's how you maintain this momentum the momentum that you felt when you made the decision to come here to begin with the momentum that in physical words and terminology can be described like this this is who you are and how you felt coming into this physical experience I am a powerful creator and I could not be more worthy or more loved I am entrusted with the variety of this time-space reality understanding that it will stimulate within me personal preferences each and every one of which can be fully manifested and realized by me I am the creator of my own reality and I'll be co-creating with lots of others who at varying degrees will understand their own creative prowess I'm born with an emotional guidance system that will always let me know where I am in relationship with the expansion that has been set out before me by me and the alignment that I find and the resonance I feel in the form of emotions that feel like joy and eagerness and passion and love and appreciation and frustration and anger and despair the emotions that I feel are my indicator of my vibrational placement my vibrational point of attraction in this moment in time which is where all of my power is today we have literally pushed that reset button so that you are in that fresh new place if you will allow it so get your notebook or the memo pad on your iPhone and take note of the realization that's going to begin in the moment that this music starts in reminding you of the perfection of that which is you of the love that source has for you of the perfection of your moment in time of the improvement in your vibrational state of being of your rightness in this place in the universe of your perfect timing in choosing to be here in your perfect rendezvous with those who are surrounding you make note of the obvious differences in your point of attraction and in doing so you will keep this momentum going and it is our promise to you that not only will you continue to live happily ever after but everything that you've been asking for will begin in this moment flowing steadily directly swiftly and with ease into your experience the fun part for us is that we saw you put each piece in the vortex but you've forgotten the pieces that you've put there <laughs> we've seen the vortex spin the cooperative components into this future experience that you want that you don't even know that you want so you are maybe for the first time ever in your life in the place where as it unfolds you're gonna know it as we know it so Hester calls them lightning strikes shivers and rivers of energy flowing you're gonna get a lot of those I think you're ready for what's about to come yes. do you think that do you believe and this is the most important question of the day or ever do you believe that in a few short hours of focused intensity that 
you can set the tone for what happens next. Yes. yes. We like that you know that. And so now we just want to tell you this one small thing. <laughs> Everything that we just told you about your future experience. We love you so much. <laughs> Only applies today. In other words, tomorrow you got to start it over again. Tomorrow you got to pick the disc and get the momentum going. And the next day you got to pick the disc and get the momentum going. You can't fall back into old pipes and get that momentum going. This momentum is good for today. But it's enough for you to know the power of it. And we'll be right there with you, reveling in each and every cooperative component that is queued up and ready to reveal itself to you, you high flying discers. <laughs>